it's Dream Life here, and uh, in today's video, I have a special guest with me. Hi, I'm Taylor. Um, so right now we are at Briarfest. We are in, we are in my hotel room, and Taylor, can you tell us what video we're doing today? Yeah. So today we're doing the video that will trigger all model horse collectors. I swear it will trigger you. Now. So let's yeah. Get so this started. is Pim. He is um, with the Julep and Pim set. He's a Briarfest special run from this year. Now the first thing, uh, there are actually two things with him. A, well actually kind of three with us, but A, his eyes. He has a brown eye, and a blue eye, and a brown eye. But I, I feel like his blue eye just looks weird. Is it just me? I don't know what it is about it. Something just looks weird with it, so it kind of triggers me. And then the next thing is this. Briar just kind of messed up on his muzzle. You can sort of see it. Briar just, I don't know what they were doing in the factory, but um, it's very scratched and we don't show, so that's good. But um, yeah, and the next thing is probably the worst one. So uh, we noticed that with his legs, you can bend them together easily, watch. Which is a little alarming. Yeah, so, um, him. He also can't stand on his own. But, um, he can't stand on carpet on his own. He's very cute, though, otherwise. His so, little, yeah. little tiny thin numbers. So adorable. So let's get on to the next, next guy. Horse. You might know him as Bi Nose or her, because actually, many people don't know, but Bi Nose is a girl. Yay! Cool. So, um, she's very pretty, but I kind of suspected this with her. But she does have a lot of flaws. For instance, I got most of the flaws off, but you can't exactly see them, but on her chest, if you look very closely, there is a black mark. Should be right above my finger. I mean, it's just a tiny one, but there are some other black marks. I can't exactly find them right now, but he does have a lot of white, and she does have a lot of white, but that is where most of the black marks are. And then I can't find any shiny marks on her, but she is very pretty. And she sold out very quickly since she is a lonesome glory. So let's get to right, the next one. So this horse. guy, he was a clarion find. He was kind of on the cheaper side, as you can maybe tell. He is on the Adios mold. Um, so he's on the Adios mold. He's a nice, uh, he's a strawberry coloring. He's not a strawberry roan, but yeah. Anyway, so he does have a couple problems. I mean, a couple scratches here and there, but if you focus on his feet, they are all warped. You can look at his back leg, especially his back right one. Yeah, a little bit warped. This one is a little bit warped, just a little bit. You can, yeah. And then these are also just kind of going in, but um, he will not stand, see? He just falls over because of his legs. Well, he does stand on wood, which is what I was looking for because he is, all these are my models. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then, I mean, it's kind of deceiving how the sellers, they literally put sticky tack on the bottom of their models to make it to make them stand in the Clarion. But, I mean, overall, this guy is just a very cute model, and he was very cheap, and he was at the Clarion. And what we mainly do is, our, is play with our models. We don't show. We take some photos, but not professionally. But overall, this guy is just a really cute model. And on right. to the next. And next, this beautiful mare. She did not come with her full, but she was also clear on find. We wanted a horse to um, on the succession mold, but most of them were pretty expensive, and we got her by herself for $55, and we thought it was a pretty good deal, so we picked her up. She's a very pretty Palomino. She's a gorgeous color. So she did not come with her full, but she's from the Baby's First Steps collection, and the thing that's triggering about her is her overspray. Let's check out her tail first. You can kind of see where the main stops and where the overspray begins. It's very, it's kind of, it upsets me more than dream life, but I do not like the overspray. Here's her mane, her mane is kind of bad, but you can just see the overspray. Here's just one strand of hair and it's super oversprayed. And look at all of this overspray and then onto her forelock. It's just pretty bad. And then on the other side of her, it's still very bad. And then up to her shoulder is still very bad. But um, overall, we wanted to get a horse on the succession mold. She is very pretty, 
and we don't show like we said we just play so um, this is the only important thing is that we like them but she did not come with her full unfortunately so we will be on the lookout for him let's get on to the next right, horse so the next horse is Ryman he is very pretty so uh, we got him for a steal he was a great price he was uh, only fifty dollars. Only fifty dollars, and he was selling in other rooms for one hundred and fifty. And he's a Briarfest twenty thirteen special run, and he's awesome. So the thing that triggers me mainly about him is his face. So let's zoom in on it. So if you see, there are dapples on his cheek, on his face right here, and that is not natural for a horse. There are dapples um, here, like on her shoulder, like the dapples on his shoulder, or again on his face. It appears also on this side of the model, right there. You can see the subtle dappling. But um, I don't think he is very pretty. He has some pinto marks on his stomach. It says Briar Fest 2013. And then he has a lot of detail. Like, look at the striping on his hooves. They are very, very pretty. And then. He's glossy goodness, and overall, he's just an amazing model. We got him for an amazing price, and let's move on to the next one. 